Hello and welcome to Ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky, and today I'm giving away this bounce and drop preset for After Effects. So without any further ado, let me show you how to install and use it in After Effects. So the first thing you need to do is go to ukramedia.com and download this zip file. In fact, I'll include a link to it at the bottom of this video in the description area. So, and then once you have it, just right click on it and do extract all. And then this pop up right here, pop up window will come up and then do extract. And then uh, double click into the extracted folder and just select this folder and do control C to copy it. And by the way, this preset does work on After Effects CS6, uh, and then it'll also work on any versions above CS6. All right, so here's how you install them. You have two options. First one, you can go to your user presets, and uh, to go there, just go, obviously, your C drive uh, users, and then your username, and then documents, Adobe, Adobe After Effects, uh, whatever version you're using, and then uh, user presets. And so just inside here, paste that folder that you copied, Control V, uh, and that should pretty much do it for you. And that's one way. And then another way is by going into your, you know, C drive, program files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects, and then support files and then presets folder. So, and just inside this root presets folder, just you can control V and paste that inside there. All right, so here we are in After Effects. And before I show you how to use this uh, preset, I want to take the time and thank Dan from motionscript.com. If you don't know Dan, he is a legend when it comes down to expressions in After Effects. Uh, over all these years, he's provided us with some useful expressions. And uh, really, I can't thank him enough. In fact, I'm using his inertial bounce and bounce back expression in this preset. So Dan, thank you for all you have done. If, if you'd like to see his work, go to motionscript.com and you will be amazed. All right, so here's my setup for this example. Basically, I have some position, scale, and rotation keyframes. For position, just a quick little slide in and then scale has like a quick zoom in and then uh, rotation. So nothing crazy, just simple animations here and there. So let me show you how to use this preset. So make sure your layer is selected, the layer that has uh, all the animation. And then, uh, by the way, it doesn't matter. You can apply the preset first and then do the keyframes. So it doesn't really matter which way you do it. It'll work either way. So, but that's how I did it. I have the keyframes first and make sure you later select it and then go to animation presets and then uh, in the presets folder, you can find, you know, obviously if you install it there, you'll find it uh, in here. But if you didn't, if you install it in the user presets, you'll find it in the user presets in here. So I'm just going to double click to apply this preset. And you have some options in here. I'm going to play with position first. So we're going to work with these two position keyframes. So again, it's just a quick slide in. And uh, let's collapse this down to see our options. So you have enable inertial bounce. If you have that checked you'll see that it'll have that wobbly animation so that's kind of cool and uh, if you collapse this down and where it says expression if you check this post expression graph and then uh, graph editor you can kind of see your animation in here and this dotted line is actually uh, the expression so it kind of shows you what it's doing visually in the, in the graph form so that's kind of nice because when you adjust for example we enabled the inertial bounds so it, each like position scale, they have individual options for inertial bounce or bounce back. So for inertial bounce, you know, you can up, uh, change the amplitude and pay attention to what's going on here. So if I drag it to the right, let's say like so, you can see that my wave is actually getting taller. And so that's pretty cool. You can also do the frequency, you know, if you scale that up, you can see that there's a lot of frequency going on there. And decay obviously will smooth things out a bit. So again, these options are very useful. I'm going to undo all this stuff. Uh, you get the idea of how this works. So I'm going to go back to my keyframes here. And uh, again, so I just have a little in inertial bounce. That's cool. So let's see what we have for scale. So I'm going to collapse back down and then scale. Let's look at the options in here. And uh, it's the exact same thing. You can enable inertial bounce. So let's play this. Just a quick little wobble. And then uh, if you uncheck that and then uh, check the enable bounce back, you'll see more of a harsh bounce back here. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Again, you can control all the options in here, uh, whatever you know animation you're going for. That's cool. And let's go for rotation. So rotation, just a quick little rotation to, to the left. Uh, nothing fancy, So, but let's make it a bit more interesting. So again, you can enable inertial bounce. 
and you'll see inertial bounce or you can enable bounce back and you'll have a snappy little animation so i'm going to leave it at that again you can keyframe all these options you know if you want to do you know bounce back and then you can keyframe that and then do inertial bounce for other keyframes and again you can keyframe all these uh, properties uh, i also included opacity but i'm not sure how useful that can be but if you find it useful you know you can definitely use it but here's another thing you know all these rotation scale position they have individual options for inertial bounce and bounce back but if you want to have something that you, where you can adjust inertial bounce option and it applies to all of them uh, that's where the global inertial bounce comes in handy so once you have that checked uh, whatever's in here is going to apply to all of them for inertial bounce and the same thing for bounce back so that can be very useful uh, when you want to keep things consistent all right thank you so much for watching this tutorial i hope you'll find this preset useful i want to thank our private mentoring group on facebook for testing this preset out for me uh, especially i want to thank uh, d horvat d thank you so much for all your help if you would like to join this private mentoring group on facebook you can just follow the link underneath this video and just join in and we would love to have you. Also, I'm working on something I'm very passionate about and that's a video course on After Effects Expressions and it's gonna be called After Effects Expressions Made Simple. I'm planning on releasing that sometimes in April or May. Again, thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.